Hey everybody, what's going on? Borrow here, back inside of Borderlands, the pre-sequel, and today we've got another legendary guide for you all. This one's going to be going over the Thunderfire and the Meganade. Both of these items drop from the same area, so I figured, hey, let's just go ahead and throw both of these legendaries into the same video because, well, there's really no reason to put both of them in this, or to make separate ones. So, to get things started, the Thunderfire is a legendary Malawan blaster that shoots a shock bullet or laser with a fire explosion at the end of it. As you can see, the radius of this explosion is relatively nice, and the Meganade is basically a quasar that sucks three times. Innuendo joke there. Anyway, so this item is going to be found inside of the subconscious. Now, slight spoilers, I will be showing where exactly to get this. It does come from a boss later on in the story, if you haven't already played the DLC. So, getting through this area actually is a little time-consuming because it, well, it takes a bit of time to actually get to the center arena that you can see there at the bottom. Now, there is a method to actually rocket jump across. Um, there's actually a method to rocket jump across straight into the arena. I think that was made by Jolt's dude. His link will be in the description if that's your type of thing. Uh, if you are not good at rocket jumping, then we're going to take the alternate route to get to these guys. And I'm going to speed up the gameplay, and you can kind of see how this Thunder, Fire, and Meganade work together. And I'm going to actually be using these on armored targets. Now, despite the fact that they're armored, these things actually this thing actually does a quite a bit of damage. It's not They're resisting half the damage that this gun is doing, but it's still extremely effective. Now, if you're fighting bandits who are flesh fire, then this is the gun for you especially when you, if you hold down the trigger you're going to get an additional 210 percent gun damage so uh in time in terms of actually fighting things inside the dlc this is a really good item for killing glitches as they are flesh fire now what you're going to be fighting here is going to be two uh clap boss style clap wolves with their own variety of attacks they've got their flamethrower and all of that they're really not that bad to take out so uh any good corrosive weapon should should take them out relatively quickly uh, they do have quite a bit of health inside of uvhm so you will want to make sure that you have a corrosive weapon i do use the thunder fire for a little bit but taking out a boss is just too much for me in terms of using a you know resistant weapon if you're a normal motor tvhm you won't have too much of an issue uh now when you get to this section don't go to the left like i did that's just going to take you to some other side quest stuff you're instead want, you're going to want to take the path to the right there and as you can so as you can see i actually killed a badass with this fire shock weapon so definitely not bad i would actually put this in one of the best one of the higher better lasers of this game the damage of it is very high and is honestly better than the rosy yeah it's better than the rosy which you know it, it is legendary so i would kind of expect it to be better than a quest item <coughs> other items in this game but once you get into the arena you're gonna fight despair and self-loathing now self-loathing is going to be the one that drops the mega nade and despair is going to be the one that drops the thunderfire both of them drop the um, both of them will drop the legendaries i actually ended up getting the mega nade on my first try i uh, did not get the thunderfire it's not in this gameplay but i ended up getting it about uh seven tries later now as far as the actual percentage of, of it to drop i can't really tell you too much um i would assume that it's about three percent for the drop rate but i'm just saying that to keep it safe i actually feel like it's a little bit higher than that but I don't want to say it's like 10%. As far as elements are concerned, this Mega Nade can, can, come, can come in every single element. So whatever fits your build best is going to be what you're going to shoot for. It's always zero on the fuse time. And the delivery package is always the same as well. As far as the Thunderfire, the only thing you're going to need to worry about is a Malawan Grip, as it has no accessory. Anyway, that's going to be the end of the video, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for future videos. I want to thank you all for the support you've been showing these legendary guides as I've actually had quite a bit of fun making them and I'm going to keep them consistent each and every day. Thank you for watching again and I'll catch you all in the next one, everybody. Later.